Hello and welcome back to my best riffs series, which I will be doing for all of Pearl Jam's albums. Uh, maybe a few others as well. So in this video we are going to be looking at album number three, Vitology. An interesting stat. Check out the songwriting credits. So I wanted to see how the music writing influenced each album based on the writing credits for each song. Now looking at ten, you can see it's absolutely dominated by Stone and Jeff's contributions. Eddie wrote Porch and was part credited for release, but not much from the other guys for that album. Then for Verses, there's a shift and lots more collaboration and a more balanced contribution from each band member, even Dave, who wrote Go. Now check out Vitology. Fedda is absolutely smashing it on this album, writing six of the tracks on that album. Stone's contributions are slightly less with each album, Jeff's have kind of leveled off and Mike and Dave and many symbols have the same contribution for Vitality and almost the same for Versus. Interesting? I don't know. You can decide. Anyways, on with the show. Now you may or may not have noticed this, but this track is played in different time signatures. So the verse riff is played in 5-4, like this. <laughs> And the chorus is played in 4-4. Four, four. So in the chorus, while Stone's playing some interesting chord voicings, Mike's just playing this single line melody. But the cool thing about this is the change between the time signature is really seamless. So have a listen to this. This is a great track, and my favourite riff is the intro riff, which Mike starts, although the tune's written by Stone. And both guitars play in drop D tuning. Mike also manages to cram in some little lead licks uh, in the intro section, which is pretty cool, uh, but also rather hectic. So have a listen to this. <laughs> So this one's all Eddie, bit of a hallmark of his style is that the tunes are very simple, they're very songwriter tunes, they're not particularly riff heavy, um, and this one is no exception. So despite having pretty simple riffs, this one's all about dynamics, and he starts it off like this. One of my favourite sections is the solo section, which Stone gets. Here's the tab. Eddie plays this uh, F and A minor riff. Mike's part I've stolen from the Saturday Night Live performance that they did. So this is what he plays over that, not on the album. So here's the solo section in full. <laughs> Another great tune and technically really straightforward. Uh, the verse riff, both guitars play the same riff, like so. And the 
chorus is simplicity itself, which leaves a load of room for Eddie's vocals. Nothing Man, this is arguably one of the best tracks on the album. Stone plays some interesting chord voicings as usual, uh, with some weird tunings and a part capo, thanks Stone. But it does give the chords a really lovely eerie sort of feel. And Mike's accompanying with some pretty standard chord voicings. Enjoy! Whipping. This is one of the most driving tunes on the album, another one written by Eddie. Here's the tab for the intro, and Mike adds some punchy stabs. Another chunk I really like is the pre-chorus section, which uh, Eddie adds some cool riffs to. Check this out. Try to. One of the absolute cla- No, it's not, is it? Anybody order some album filler? Anyone? No? Anyone? No? I think this one's best described uh, as experimental. Uh, I don't think it took them too long to do this one. Couple of riffs. Have a listen. <laughs> Alright, on to one of their classics, Cordroy. Loads of good bits in this, uh, but I really love the simplicity of the chorus riff, which has a couple of electric guitars and an acoustic guitar, so check this out. <laughs> That's more like it, we're back on track. And next up, another... Oh wait, no, sorry. Bugs. This one's about... Bugs. Okay, fair enough. Totally redeeming themselves with this one. This has got an awesomely cool little riff in it. Thank you. 
Now this is surely one of Ed's finest moments. He wrote this before he joined Pearl Jam and it's an absolute classic. And for me, the intro riff has it all. So check this out. is awesome. I'm also going to sneak in a little bit of Mike's riff that he plays towards the end just because it's lovely and melodic. Have a listen to this. Okay, another strange segue, but I quite like this one. This is quite a cool little ditty. Check this out. Finishing up the album with another ballad, which they've done on the last two albums, it's a bit of a theme there. This is another great song, I love the simplicity of the verse riff, so I have chosen that one. Thank you again for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned because no code's coming very soon. Give me some comments, hit me up with some likes and subscribes if you haven't already. Thank you for your support so far, and you'll be hearing from me soon. Cheers, bye bye.